of the age of Aquarius, but based on that sort of an astrological cyclical view of time. Behula's super fascist claim is that this new age that is dawning will restore a mythical Aryan race. So we have this kind of anti-Darwinian fixation on a pre-modern age of gods from which modern races have supposedly degenerated to varying degrees. So whereas Darwinism says that humans kind of evolved from lower species, we climbed out of the mud, fascist spiritualists and also new age granola people tend to claim that it's the opposite, that, that we fell out of the sky, which is usually the, the pre-modern claim, that humans are kind of fallen angels, as opposed to the Darwinian idea that we are risen beasts. Another granola thread in Avila's thinking is eco-fascism. So that would be a focus on the soil part of blood and soil. Though honestly, as a spiritual racist, I think Avila might not agree with blood and soil. It would be spirit and soil. He's not claiming to be scientific. He's trying to revolt against science, right? Because science is part of modernity. So he's claiming that what makes the Aryan race, the Aryan race is a kind of spiritual superiority rather than Do you think she's right? a genetic one or like an IQ Evie? kind of claim. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of intricacies to racist <laughs> thought that I feel like I, I, this is not me defending racists. I'm just saying like, if we want to understand racism, like you have to understand that racism is more nuanced than people tend to think. White supremacist thinking is usually not as simple as white supremacists, oh, they just, they just love all white people and they hate all non-white people. No, that's not the case at all. They actually hate most white people because they 